Welcome back to Venner Active. In this training session, I'll show you how to test and launch the automated conversations you've designed in Preference Pro. It's always a good idea to test marketing messages before you send them to customers. But it's doubly important when you launch a self-running campaign. Any errors get multiplied since automated triggers will make them again and again. So in this video, we'll show you how to test your automated conversations by setting up test customers, creating a test strategy, and using Preference Pro's Run Tester to simulate your conversation before you launch. To start your testing, you'll need to set up at least one test account. And if you haven't done that already, you can log in to your admin control panel select the Contacts menu, and click Subscribe Contacts. From here, enter a unique email address. You don't need to attach any external triggers, and you don't even have to enter profile data. And here's a pro tip, you don't even need to enter a working email address unless you want to. If you enter a fictitious email address, you won't receive any test messages, but you can still simulate the conversation flow. Once you've added at least one test address, now's the time to devise a test strategy. All that really means is making a list of which customers should receive your messages and which shouldn't. For example, think about a customer birthday sequence. We want to verify that customers enter the conversation when they supply their birthday information but we don't want underage subscribers to receive our messages. So that's the basis of a test strategy, identifying the type of customers who should receive your messages and those who shouldn't. Now that you have a test customer and a test strategy, now you can go to your list of automated conversations and open your conversation to begin testing using Preference Pro's exclusive Run Tester. This feature lets you customize and load one test customer at a time to see how your conversation will work for them. To start the simulation, enter your test customer and click the Initialize button. From here, you can see any profile data associated with your test customer, including system fields like last open date and last click date, and all the profile fields used in your list. The Run Tester function allows you to temporarily edit these values for testing purposes. In this example, our test customer doesn't have any birthday information, but we can add it here. And once you've edited the profile fields needed for your test, go ahead and store your test data. And now you can see your conversation is ready to test. To perform the simulation of your conversation, first choose the trigger you want to test. In this example, we'll start by testing the customer who's been manually uploaded. And as soon as you click the trigger, your simulation begins. In this example, when your test customer entered the conversation, we can see the conversation start, then we can see our test customer advance to the birthday wait step. And if we do it again, keep an eye on the left side of the screen and you can visually monitor your conversation's progress. Take a look. When you hit a wait step, click the Expire Wait button to advance the simulation. In this example, after the wait step, we can see a message was sent on the customer's birthday at 8 a.m. Then the customer was re-entered to the conversation before the thread was done.
To test the customer re-entry thread, click on the birthday re-entry trigger and you can see the simulation at work. If your simulation didn't perform the way you expected, now's the time to change your settings. Following your test strategy, you'll also want to simulate customers who you don't want to message. So using your test customer, initialize a new test. Then change your customer's contact details so they shouldn't receive your birthday message. Store your new test data, then choose a trigger to begin your next test. In this example, you can see your test customer didn't advance beyond the trigger. To see why, you can look at the details to learn your test customer was denied entry into the conversation due to a filter. And in this case, the conversation was working perfectly since the customer wasn't 21 years old. And once you've confirmed the right customers are entering your conversation, and the conversation is producing the results you want, click on the Designer tab to either publish your conversation or click the back button to save your changes without publishing your work. To learn more, visit us at www.vinteractive.com or search help.listrack.com for answers and expert advice for getting the most out of Preference Pro.